On November 22, 2013, I appeared on ABC's 2020. We wanted to find out if what this man says about the veterinary business is true. That some vets out to make a buck sell unnecessary shots, tests, and procedures to unsuspecting pet owners. I'm clearly not making friends within the veterinary industry, but I feel I'm saying things that need to be said that aren't being said. Andrew Jones worked as a vet for 17 years until he quit the industry after a dispute with his medical board over marketing issues. He's now revealing what he calls veterinary secrets online. As a young veterinarian in British Columbia working at a clinic, Jones says he got an early lesson about upselling after telling a pet owner just to monitor a lump on their dog. Jones says the clinic owner quickly clued him in on the effectiveness of using the dreaded C word. The practice owner said, no, that's not how you do it. What you need to do is get that dog back in. And what did he tell that pet owner? He said that it might be cancer, and it's usually word, the, the C word, pet owners get really concerned. Was it cancer? No, it was a benign fatty tumor. Throughout his career, Jones says he discovered a dark reality about some veterinarians in the U.S. and Canada, including himself. They feel that pressure of, I've got these overhead costs to make, and that's where your judgment gets clouded. Jones says, under pressure from bosses, he ordered services that were not needed. Did you feel that you might get fired if you didn't do that? No question. If I didn't meet this certain target, then yeah, my employment was at threat. But Jones tells us even when he owned his own clinic, he at times continued upselling, admitting to using the teeth cleaning come on. So for instance, seeing a, a dog that has a little bit of tartar, then I might say, I think your dog should have a dental cleaning. Obviously more profitable for the practice. This segment garnered dramatic reaction from veterinarians. According to the Veterinary News website, DVM360, the veterinary community wasn't taking the 2020 report lying down. Veterinarian Jeremy Campfield, every veterinarian in the world should be outraged, and Dr. Jones should be sued. Veterinarian Ernie Ward, why is Jones so upset with my beloved profession? Maybe it's because of his numerous violations of unethical professional behavior. Veterinarian Jessica Vogel saying, Jones isn't a champion of the poor and undeserved, or fighting to educate pet owners. So what should you as a concerned pet parent do? I want to leave you with conclusions that I finished the 2020 segment with. Jones says what ultimately drives pet owners to pay up is their deep love for their animals. Do you think some vets take advantage of pet owners who just really don't know any better? Of course, because you can. I mean, because you're, you're preying on their emotion. When we asked the industry association about upselling allegations, they said it's up to pet owners to decide whether to follow a vet's recommendation. At the end of the day, Jones says the vast majority of vets are ethical and try to do the right thing. Hi. Still, he says pet owners need to walk into a clinic with their eyes wide open. They're not just going to veterinary clinic, they're going to a business. So start to really question stuff that is recommended or advised, and you really can you know, take charge of your own pet's health.